What is up, YouTube? This is Ethan Iverson, or Motel Little Skittles, and I'm doing a review of the A Zero C Seven Chromebook. And so let's get into this review. First impressions on this thing: super fast. I mean, internet speeds were pretty decent. I mean, I got pretty good YouTube streaming quality, and I mean, everything in Chrome was pretty integrated for this device. So I was pretty happy with it. I'm um, surfing on normal sites like Facebook and um, pretty high demanding, you know, sites. I can't recall one right now, but, you know, early high demanding sites, kind of like, what is that, Razer.com, like, R-A-Z-R.com. It's a pretty nice graphic intense website um, with for the Droid Razer. You should try it out and see how well your computer can, you know, process it. But, yeah, this computer handles it, handles it pretty well, and um, I am, it's, the quality for internet, like, 1080, 720 settings are all right. I mean, I can see some stutters in 1080 sometimes, but... 720, there's never ever lag, but 1080, sometimes it can lag a little bit. Um, let's go ahead and talk about the um, specs of this device. Okay, for the display, it has a screen size, a diagonal 11.6 inches, resolution 1366 by 768, PPI is 135.09, I mean, if you want to hear that, but basically, the PPI pixels per inch is 135. So, I mean, oh, excuse me. So, I mean, that's not really bad. I mean, in my opinion, you really can't see pixels that, I mean, you really can't see pixels like that, but I just wish the resolution was a little bit higher, you know. CPU, Intel Celeron 84.7. Yes, it's a dual core, and it's 1.1 gigahertz. That's not horrible, but that's pretty uh, weak compared to other big boy laptops. The RAM, 2 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM, I mean, that's really all I have to say about that. Um, so it has a 320 gigabyte rotational HDD hard drive, and it has an SD card reader, which is right, uh, right there. It has a 1.3 megapixel web, uh, megapixel webcam, it's supposed to be able to stream or film in HD. It's supposed to be, but I never got that, it never, it says it on their website, but I really don't believe that. Um, port options, it has three USBs, no 3.0, which is the bad part. The Samsung Series 3 or Series 5, whatever one, they both have it, which is the bad part. Um, Ethernet, 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 uh, right there. VGA, HDMI, which is really, really great. There's an HDMI port right here, so you guys can't see it that well right now, but, um, and... 3.5 millimeter headphone and microphone jack combo, which is right there. Quoted battery life is four hours, which, in my opinion, is decent. And but I've actually gotten about five hours in this before, depending on what you have your settings on. So, yeah. And that is really it when it comes to this specs. Um. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention you get a hundred gig mega ah. Uh, you get 100 gigabytes of Google Drive cloud storage with 320 hard disk drive. Basically, you get a you get 100 gigabytes of online storage, which is pretty cool. Well, for two years, and then you can only after that you can only store like four gigabytes, which is not bad. You don't lose your data. You just can't add data onto it. So, yeah. So let's get on with the physical review. Right here, this is Chrome Acer. Pretty simple. It's not a thick. It's a re not a relatively. It's a relatively thin laptop. It's not that thick. Um, VGA output, Ethernet. Sorry guys for the very dark. Let's get my lighting. There we go. Let's get the lighting. Come on. There we go. Um, autofocus. I'm just not autofocusing. Come on, autofocus. So you're gonna focus. 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 Okay, it's not focusing. Okay, anyway, Ethernet, VGA, vent for the uh, CPU, probably. HDMI, USB 2.0, which is horrible. I hate that it doesn't have 3.0 supported, but it's not bad. Battery. Um, this side of it you will get. Alright. Charging thing. This, some kind of lock thing, basically. USB, USB, dual jack. Speaker, speaker, um, and then SD. 
That's really it. Physical. Let's boot this thing. And you're supposed to get a promise of under 20 seconds of, I mean, 20 second boot time. I've never gone over that when I turn it on, but we'll see what this does right now. So it's basically off right now, completely off. Then bam, I just turned it on. And while it's booting, basically, you guys can see the keyboard looks fantastic, in my opinion. I love how the, all the letters are in a nice little font. I'm not sure if, it's, if there's a standard font for this, but I like, I just like this setup. Um, nice trackpad. Really nice. Built-in little um, select thing. I'm not sure what it's called. I'm not really good with all this terminology, but I'm getting better at it. Intel sticker and all this. There's only one part people are saying that they... Oh, yeah, never mind. This one is Samsung one. But this one has basically everything a normal keyboard would have. I'm not sure if there's anything that wouldn't have it. If there is, comment in the below the video and tell me. Oh, well, as you can see, it's it's already up and basically running. Um, you have an Acer brand right there, branding. Power button. And actually all of the important keys. And so, is that really it? Oh, yeah, and it has a dedicated search button, search button right here. When you press it. Basically, yeah, you, you, I think it go, I think it goes to Google. We'll see. Let's go ahead and log in. Let me go ahead and log in, guys. Did it log in? Okay, just logged in. Oh, that looks horrible on the camera. Well, anyway, let's see what the search button does. Anything? Does it do anything? What? Oh. When you press the search button, it brings up your app drawer, which is pretty cool. Sorry, guys, you're not going to get the best look on it, but it's going to look all right. Um, basically, let's do a software. This is basically your background settings. It's, it's, the laptop isn't that customizable, but it's pretty. It's okay. So, um, right here, you get basically a bunch of options right there. And right here, you just get a little thing with all of your apps that you'll basically you'll be able to use. Your main ones, I uh, suppose. Your app drawer, you just get a bunch of apps you can use. They don't necessarily download to your hard drive, but they will download um, uh, the cloud, I, I'm, I'm guessing. And they do have a, a files app, basically, where you can store stuff on your hard drive. And right now, this laptop, I just have a bunch of songs on it. That's really it. But you can download stuff. Yes, you can. You can download stuff off the web, and you can store it on your laptop and put it on any other device. But, I mean, questions I see a lot is, if can you run executable files, all that good stuff. No, you can't. This is Chrome OS. It's not XP. I mean, it's not Windows, basically. So it's not Windows. It's not Mac. It's Chrome OS. It's, 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 it has its own operating system. So that's really cool. Now, I'm not sure where the um, certain specifications for Wi-Fi is, but, I mean, the Wi-Fi, it's good. It's not slow, it's fast. It's what normal people would call fast. So, it's not really going to be that much of an in-depth software review. It's just very simple. I mean, you guys can see that, right? Sorry for the reflection of this light bulb. I'm sorry. I mean, let's see if I can move that. Move. No. There we go. It's moved. But anyway, I can't do that because that will fall. Oh, gosh. So, yeah. So, that's basically it. All your app drawer, basically. Then you can click right there, and then your apps will come up. Yeah, and that's really it. Let's test, let's do some speed tests, okay? Do some speed tests. Alright. And you open the thing, bam. It opens like that. I mean, it's pretty snappy. So let me go ahead and see if you guys can see that. Alright, so I'm going to click on Chrome, see how fast it opens. One. Two, three. So yeah, see how it's pretty snappy. Let's go ahead and type in YouTube.com. YouTube. Bam. I just clicked on it. Everything loads pretty well. Let's go to my um tour of a geeks tour of a geeks room. Look at that video. Um. So the internet, like I said, it's pretty speedy. Um. Okay, come on, guys. No one cares about these dumb ads. Jeez. Skip. 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 Yes. So I'm streaming right now in 720. So yeah, it looks nice, smooth. I mean, there's really no lag or shutters. Everything looks fine. Looks fine. Let's go to speedtest.net. 
Horror.com. Which one is it? Oh, yeah, .net. Okay. Crap. Enter. So, I'm going to speed test. Loads pretty quickly. Come on. Come on. It's already loaded 100%, but it's just sitting here. Okay, there we go. Um, I remember the last time I did this, I didn't get ratings that were too good. I mean, I was pretty disappointed with the ratings I got. So, this is my second time ever using it, and it's... Oh, there. Begin test. Okay. Let's see. You probably can't see this clearly, but right now, ping 19. I'm getting 34 download speed. So, I'm for 34 down. So, about 34 down. Uh, I mean, that's not bad, guys. You can comment in the description what you normally get. I'm not sure. Up. Ooh, my up is pretty slow. Alright, I'm about I'm about at about six up right now, so my max is six up, which isn't bad, but it's come on man. I want at least to be to twenty or ten, I mean. But yeah. So I got thirty-five down, six up, nineteen. I'm not sure what the MS stands for. I'm so sorry, I'm being a noob crap. I don't know what MS stands for, but whatever. I mean right now that's not important. Thirty-four down, six up. That's not bad. I mean my internet at home isn't the fastest, but it's definitely um Pretty snappy. This um, Chromebook is pretty snappy. It's not slow. So, I guess that's really my version of a review. I mean, it's, I didn't really do that much of an in-depth review, but I really gave you a good little uh, taste of it. So basically, people who are really techy about stuff, hopefully you like this video, and hopefully everyone loves this video. So, that really concludes, in my conclusion, what I deduce from this Chromebook it's fast, extremely affordable. Uh, it's fast. It's extremely affordable for two hundred dollars, a price you really cannot beat. Um, so that's really it. Comment, rate, and subscribe, and peace out, YouTube.